Speaking of which, uh, Bill Wyman, that was the best was part the of the Maury Povich show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. When, uh, she could have chose anyone. Well, that's typical Patty, who she would want to be intimate with. And you got to think if there's potential guys out there going, yeah, she's not that bad. Yeah. There's someone for everyone, they say, right? I don't know. But I think she kind of... Uh, Kind of really ruined that by saying that her dream date is Bill Wyman. From Bill Rolling Wyman. Stones. Picture her, Bill Wyman, doing crossword puzzles after a little game of bowling. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Just the fact that not only is, that she went for a guy who's probably worth about four hundred and thirty million. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Aim a little lower, please. All right. Well, we got some clips from the Maury Povich show. This was Monday. We didn't get to play all of this on uh, Monday's show, so we're going to do it right at the end of the show. Yeah. Stork Patty on Maury Povich. It was uh, uh, making nerds into... Uh, Turn your nerd into a knockout. Into a knockout. That's... Yeah. That, <laughs> that was the title of the show. Okay. Here's Maury intro on the whole damn thing. Now, think being a virgin at 40 years old. Now, that's a shocker. Well, my next guest, Patty, is 50 and a virgin. She is so famous for being a 50-year-old version, she is the star of the Opie and Anthony XM satellite radio show. Now, the Patty's star? friend, Joyce, who's with me now, says that Patty looks so much like a geek, the men just aren't even interested in her. And Patty's here because she's desperate to get a hot, sexy makeover so she can finally, after 50 years, be intimate with a man. Star? Uh, well, you know. And then they played the clip, and it was split screen of Patty talking on mic and me talking on mic. Right. Which made it look like she is part of the show, like she's here on a daily basis as, like, the whole. Right. <laughs> yeah, not good representation. No. My name is Patty, and I am a 50-year-old virgin. I have been a geek and a nerd my whole life, and guys just won't talk to me. I rarely party, but when I do, I just end up sitting there like a bump on a log. I'm definitely a geek. My favorite thing to do on a Friday night is to bowl. My idea of a cool dude would be somebody that I can bowl with and would like to do crossword puzzles with me. I can't wait to look hot and sexy and meet the man. Oh. Do you imagine sitting there? I don't know. Uh, four across. What is that, Patty? Could you give me the clue? And what kind of a date that would be? What kind of a night that would be? Snuggling up with her. I bet. Three down. What is it? <laughs> Starts with a D. I know. It's five letters. My I, I. <laughs> She giggles and leans into you. Ooh. That's like. Oh. No, that's not the word, silly. Oh, this one's easy. Old oh, chiclet teeth. <laughs> the star of the Opie and Anthony show. Great. <laughs> that represents our the women of the Opie and Anthony show. Sure does. All right, here's another clip. Starker Patty on Maury Povich. Let me get this straight, Joyce. <laughs> this is a woman whose dream is to get a guy to bowl with her. Yeah, you no. Know. This and, is a walking time warp, Maury. And this is a woman who wants more than anything else to get a guy, sit down, and do crossword puzzles uh, together. Right. So How'd you meet her? Well, we're uh, fans of the uh, Opie and Anthony show. I Jackson know Opie Salaria. and I know Anthony, yep. And <laughs> she has a crush on one of the hosts. Always Which has. I know, it's Opie. Yes. Uh, and at this everybody point. Everybody has a crush on Opie. Yes. At that point, they again showed the same split screen of me and Patty. Maury, what's the matter with you? I had to rewind. I'm sorry. Yeah. One of the hosts. Oh, it's Which I know. It's Opie. Yes. I yes, know. Yes. Everybody has a crush on Opie. Yes. Um, we met. And she sat in the corner wearing Maury two coats you. in the month of June. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm thinking, she's a hobo. Right. So and I you went took her to her. a club. We, for her 50th birthday, we took her to a strip club. Oh, yeah. What happened? Nothing. Did somebody do a lap dance? Yes, she had two lap dances forcibly. Right. We gave her three apple martinis, sat right. her in a chair, gave her 40 bucks. And, and this said, is it right mind. here. This is what it looks like. Yeah. All right, here she is, Patty. Patty, come on out. Oh, she was doing the robot dance uh, to that music. Right. She's just 
horrific. Even for her, that was embarrassing. Oh, yeah. With her pants pulled all the way up to her nipples. Ugh. On yeah. purpose, obviously. Patty doesn't dress that bad. No. Really? <laughs> well, she no, doesn't pull do them that. up. I know. They do that for the Maury show. Yeah. She looked like William Frawley. And I, <laughs> I did a, this is how stupid Bob Kelly is. I do a William Frawley reference in the car. He goes, dude, don't try to impress me. And I'm like, what? William Frawley? He's like, who's that? Are you kidding? He didn't know who he was. And I'm like, he's Rick. For, he's a friend from I Love Lucy. He's stupid. Like, he thought I was giving some obscure Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I thought he was saying that he knew who you were talking about. And don't try to impress me with your, like, TV trivia. Yeah. He was saying don't try to impress me because he had no clue at all who it was. Thought you maybe a, a, a scientist or something. Yeah, like it was some obscure gentleman who I read about one time. <laughs> what an Bob, ass. you're a dope. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Patty? Sit Bye, right here. Daddy. Look, Patty. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> oh, boy. I told you it was genuine. Patty, you want to look nicer? Yeah. Do you want to find a guy? I would love to have a line of them lining up for me. You would? Yes. But, but, Patty, you can't look like that and expect guys to line up. It ain't going to happen. Well, I'm just waiting for the right person to come along. Oh, you are. He's okay. not going to come you know, along dressed like this, Patty. You know, the your earth. pants are up to here, your bangs are here, your back is here. How is a man going to find you? <laughs> Patty! Well, the world will end and I'll still be left behind waiting. No, come oh, on. Sorry. If I had to ask you, Patty, and your dreams, who you would like to, like, lose your virginity to, I mean, who might they be? Well, Bill Wyman of the Rolling Stones is cute. He's one of the ugliest guys on the face of the world. <laughs> oh, my Lord, do you need help? We're going to get you some glasses, too, guys. Thank you very much. Joy, I didn't know. Bill Wyman, the Rolling Stones is cute. How great would it have been if she said, I Lexington Steel. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Wyman. She's a fool. How about Bill Ward, you disloyal whore? The <laughs> Sabbath. <laughs> I don't know. I like that gentleman from Herman's Hermits. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> wow. She wants a line of guys. Yep. Uh, All right. A then. few video companies that would uh, sponsor that event. <laughs> Look, Virgin Bukaki. <laughs> Stalker Patty Gangbang. Whole big line just waiting. Old Jack in it like they do waiting. <laughs> It's like the worst part of those movies. <laughs> like, the, the chick is getting banged, and there's like a 60-guy gangbang, and there's 60 guys just sitting there jacking off in a circle, <laughs> waiting for their turn, <laughs> talking to each other. Yeah, look at how he's fucking her. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Put it in. <laughs> All right, well, later in the show, they did the transformation, and Stalker and Patty walked out, and uh, we got a huge plug here at the end of the show. Listen to this. Joyce has been trying to get Patty out there to meet guys somewhere other than the bowling alley and a crossword puzzle. Mm. It's taking an act of Congress, actually. Look at that. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to close my eyes, bring on Patty out, I'm going to open my eyes. We'll see what we got. Patty, come on out here. I just, I want to state something that was pretty obvious, is that mm -hmm. Patty's friend is a mess of a human being as well. <laughs> I mean, I'm free to make enemies on this show because I'm not here. So I know what wow. you guys want to say, but she's sitting there cackling in the background. Ah, act to Congress. It's like, look at yourself. What the fuck? Look in a mirror. Heal thyself, doctor. What are you saying? That she wasn't hot? That's pretty much, yeah. I could have cut it down to one sentence. No, but I mean, you mean Patty? Pat, you saying that Patty's... This is terrible. What's that? Oh, man. Hold on, madam. So you're saying that her <laughs> her friend Joyce? Yes. Okay. You. Fuck you, Darren. It's Daryl. Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't take the cackling, and oh my God, no one's gonna come around when you dress like that. What I'm do like, you like about like, her? Ooh, the waistline mostly, the face. Uh, Thanks a lot, guys. I don't know the clothing, everything. We mean guys. We're not saying anything. She really should not have called in. She was very punctual. Choice. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hi, sweetie. Obviously, you're going to rip me apart, too. Well, go ahead. We're not ripping you apart at all. I said you were punctual. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sophie. Don't say 
say that's thanks, not Opie. Opie. Well, that was a nice thing you said. Obviously, the Opie. voice and sounds similar, but don't say thanks, Opie. <laughs> I've been very nice during this segment. <laughs> they cut out a lot of the show, too. They spent, I think, the least amount of time with Patty than compared to the other people who were getting made over. And Maurice talked a lot about you, and they cut it out. Did they cut out more of your cackling in the background? No, I guess not. Oh. What, what did Maury say about Opie and Anthony that they cut out? He went up, went a little more into the show and how Opie looks like Opie. And I said, no, he's a lot cuter than Opie. <laughs> and they kept showing Anthony's clip. Yeah. <laughs> Maury, that's Anthony. That's not Opie. Right. Yeah. I guess they had to cut that out. I guess it didn't make any sense. What? But I just wish they would have worked on Patty's gate. She had the gate fucking sign on high heels. Now, is this a end. twofer show? Like, now is it your turn next? And Patty's going to sit in the background cackling. And then Maury will be like, here's Joyce. (laughs) I don't think so. It was all about Patty. It was all about her makeover. And they actually cut her hair. They highlighted it. She looked looked okay. Um, Just needed to work on that charm at the end. And Maury actually made fun of her. They cut that out, too. That that had the audience going. Well, Well, you know what they should have cut out? A waistline. Okay. Keep on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Opie, why'd you hang up on Joyce? I had nothing to do with that. She I think up. Joyce is a lovely lady. I like Joyce. Wow, <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that it's a lot of fun around my house during the holidays? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just in case you think it's just me. Just, no. <laughs> no, no. It's not just Opie. I got, uh, <laughs> there's five boys and two girls. The girls are very nice in my family. The sweetest little wow. things you'd ever want to meet. Wow. The guys, though, holy shit, we got problems. There's something going on there. <laughs> I got a hot cousin, by the way. You oh, which one? Well, I don't remember. I don't know if I... Jimmy? I... <laughs> 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 yeah, we had a lot of cousins there. Oh, uh, no, the, she was, uh, she was very cute. Yeah. All right. That would have to be Jennifer, I would imagine. Blonde, please. Well, let's get Blonde back to gal. the uh, Maury Povich show, the end Lovely. here. Stalker Patty on Maury Povich. Damn Joyce here, Patty. Joyce you wanted to call in to give us a little insight, but uh, Daryl over here decided to beat her up a little bit. Joyce, yeah. can you call back, please? We do want to get the inside scoop. Boy, it's a little tough, Patty. Oh, <laughs> okay. How do you feel? Different. Patty. Different. Oh, Mike, very good. You're shaking. What's the matter? <laughs> I'm <so> nervous. <laughs> You're a little nervous. Patty, Why, do you think I, somebody I might ask you it. out? Maybe. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, Patty, I'm Joyce, amazed. don't you like this? It's beautiful. Isn't this terrific? <laughs> yes. Thank now, you. by the way, because in honor of you, Patty. And those scandalous boys, Opie oh, and Anthony. Oh, my God, my boys. <laughs> All of our oh, audience members, because of Opie and Anthony, I didn't even know they were this nice. But because of their show on XM Satellite Radio, they have sent everybody in our audience a free satellite radio. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's how, how nice Maury ended are. the show. We, yep. cut, we cut the clip. It, was, it went on a little longer than that. Then the people came out with the XM radio, started passing it out to the crowd. So... Do you uh do you realize that Maury, when Patty came out for her big reveal after her makeover, right, never said that she looked good or looked <laughs> pretty. And Ma- this is Maury Povich, the same guy who a woman could trip, fall face first into a fire. They bring her on the show, and Maury will c- hug her and go, "You're a beautiful person. Let me tell you how cute." Or a progeria kid, "You are so cute and adorable." He could not bring himself to tell Patty she looked pretty. <laughs> Patty, you're so present. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are here, Patty. Involved. <laughs> Where he, 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 what did he say? You're shaking. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little nervous. Yeah. Let's go to Carl in New Jersey. Carl. Hey, what's happening? Hey, man. Listen. Patty's like made a Teflon. The fucking makeover didn't taste or something. I don't yeah. know. What 
she looked like an ant in a red dress. Yeah, yeah she didn't look much different, right? Commenting oh. that she's the only one on the whole makeover show that didn't look any different after the makeover. They do these right. makeover shows. Maury's done millions of these things. The the women show up. They show them as the dorks backstage. Then they bring them out, and you go, all right, that's pretty good. This is the only time I've ever seen this show where the woman came out. She looked exactly, Patty looked exactly the same. Her hair looked better. Oh, Her hair looked better. Her hair looked a little it was better. feathered a little bit. Yeah, but I'm not even talking about, like, pieces. Yeah, you could take a piece of this, I, like, our hair looked better. She glasses. But no, her knees are shot. She didn't look good. Shot. She didn't look any better than she did before. Well, that's why she's on Patty, boys. I'm out. All yeah. right, thank you, sir. Let's say hi to Eric in Colorado. Eric. Morning, boys. Morning, Eric. How cool would it have been, though, when she walked out on stage for her to, for her to have done a face plant? Because you could see her trip. Yeah, on those heels. Right. Yeah, yeah I saw that. I'm, I'm sitting on the couch watching on, re, on a videotape, and I started busting up laughing. I fell off the couch. My wife's like, what? And I rewound <laughs> it, and she could see it, and she started laughing, too. All right. Uh, are those right. video clips up on uh, opianthony.com? Hope so. Hopefully. Yeah, they are. Oh, they are yeah, up they, there? I'm yeah. just in my penny loafers. Very cool. It's hard to walk in <laughs> these right. high heels. All right, Eric. Thank you. All right, punch it out, boys. All right. What? What so happened? A big thank you to Rob Bartlett once again. That was a fantastic commercial for the Opie and Anthony show. I yeah. couldn't hear what he was saying. It's he did the sound whack off. Back up on whack back. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> How do you not love them? Rob Bartlett, we couldn't hear because the sound is off. Just explain for everybody across America. On MSNBC, the I Miss His Show is, uh, is shown every day as well as her on the radio. And Bartlett is doing uh, Brian, Brian Wilson. Wilson. Right. So he's wearing this crazy like Hawaiian shirt. And, and he's wearing the one that uh, Opie's brother designed, actually, uh, Opie and Anthony shirt. And it's like a five-minute commercial with just him talking and just Opie and Anthony on the screen. Yeah, XM Satellite Radio. XM Satellite Radio. And as they pan out... He's got whack bag up. He was, on, <laughs> he was on whack bag. Checking out the fan site. <laughs> He's probably wondering aloud. I thought these guys liked this show. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. How great are they? It just seems That's very good. inside, but, you know, keep doing it, Imus. Thank you. People get it, though. You think they're getting it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, Imus just absolutely hates Howard and will do anything he can to help us out. I still want to meet him, but probably not going to happen. Who? Imus? I can make that happen for you. I don't. Yeah. Hi, do you think I could, um... Yeah. I just want you to know... Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, um, my, yeah. My dad and I used to listen to you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Got a picture? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. He's got some great stories. We'll try to make that happen. All right, we should take a break. When we get back, we'll do something else. <laughs> All right. Patty, let me tell you something. <laughs> you are such a human. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't fucking bring him out. <laughs> you do make a great point, man. He's the burn the victims and all that. Love the Maury. All right. <laughs>